Jessica Hardman, you are Head of European Portfolio Management at DWS. Thank you for joining us on BETV. Hello, nice to be here. DWS has recently launched a new strategy targeting the living sector in Europe. Uh, what will this new open-ended vehicle entail? Yep, so we've designed um, a strategy that really encompasses a pan-European approach to the living sector. So following about a decade of building our platform uh, around the living sectors where we have 6 billion euros of assets under management in those categories, it now is a good time for us to develop a pure play residential and living sector strategy for institutional investors globally. So the actual strategy itself will look primarily at uh, residential together with student accommodation, uh, senior living and co-living, and looking to balance the strategy amongst the mature markets in Europe. So that might be Germany, Netherlands, um, the Nordics, uh, together with those markets more um, in the immature state and going to their institutionalization. So that might be the UK, Spain, Italy, et cetera. And of course, France sits in the, uh, the core bucket of that. So it's a really exciting strategy for us, really putting together all of our skills over the last decade and offering those to our investors. And what are the main market fundamentals that this new strategy will look to target? Yeah, so we're looking more primarily at metropolitan areas across Europe. And, and why is that? Well, really from a residential perspective, there is an imbalance between low supply and growing demand. And we're seeing the growing demand of the, of the rental sector generally. And this might be because we're seeing the growth in single person households, um, the growth of um, uh, people wanting to have more flexibility around how they occupy a building rather than always owning a residential apartment. So really looking to invest in that imbalance um, and that driving demand. And the outcome of that really is that you have high occupancy, you have very resilient income streams. And I think over the last 12 months, where clearly real estate markets have been you know, all over the place with the, the pandemic, what you've seen come through that is the residential markets have been very resilient. And in our own large portfolio, we have collected over 95% of our rent rolls and we've retained high occupancy. And we've also done virtual leasing of our apartments across Europe as well. So it's really shown that it's been a defensive sector, also the market maybe have been in more flux. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Uh, and uh, you alluded to it, uh, this new strategy is uh, pan-European. Uh, what role do you see France playing in your uh, residential investments uh, going forward? Yep, so we're at the outset of our French residential experience. We have a large commercial portfolio. Obviously, we're a multi-asset house uh, from a sectorial point of view, um, but we've really built our capabilities from Germany through to the Nordics and ne Netherlands, and, and France is next on our list, actually, and we're having um, a really good look at the market currently and are under um, uh, due diligence on a number of ideas. So, we see France being in the core end of the market, so it's very stable. Um, it's an institutional market, obviously well um, bought by uh, domestic players as well. So I think it would really add stability to the portfolio uh, and well-recognized locations uh, in and around those both urban locations and also suburban locations. Those locations being uh, the ones on the outside of a city, but with great connectivity into the place of work, but also may offer a slightly more affordable accommodation. So that's what we'll be targeting. Great, great. Well, thank you very much for this insight and thank you all for joining us. See you soon on BTV.